All right, today we are gonna be going over how I make my connection from my jet line or my fish tape to my wire so that way I can pull through PVC or any type of pipe. So this method is the only method that I use. I have found it to be the most successful for me. Um, and so I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Today we are running from the generator side to the transfer switch in two inch PVC. I have four four alt wires and one number four ground. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get all your ends together. You don't wanna put all the ends at each other in the same place because they're gonna get stuck in the pipe super quick. So you wanna spread them out evenly how I did. And you're just gonna put two layers of tape in different spots. That way the wires don't move around and they're tight. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your jet line and make a knot and you're gonna put it pretty far down the wire because you want enough room to make a decent number of hitches. You're gonna leave this little bit of slack here on the end so that way it keeps it taut. You're gonna basically tape around that so that way the jet line doesn't move as you're making your hitches. The way I do this, by the way, is called a clove hitch. Everybody does their own unique style of a clove hitch, but this is just the fastest way for me to do it. All right, so the easiest way for me to explain this is you're gonna take the wire and you're gonna twist it around your hand and you're gonna keep the string taut with the other hand and you're basically just gonna wrap it around and you're gonna pull really hard on this. That's half of a hitch. You're gonna keep it taut and you're gonna do the same thing again. Once you've done it twice and they're pretty close together, that's a full hitch. So just a little close up, that's a full hitch and that's a half a hitch. I'm gonna try to demonstrate it a few more times. So like I said, you're gonna twist it around your hand, keep the other hand taut, pull it through, and that's a hitch. And then the same thing over and over again. It's kind of hard to explain, so that's why I changed the view of the video and kind of just let you watch it each time. But I do a lot of these, honestly, because the more that you do, the better chance that you have of this not coming disconnected. This is not going anywhere. I'm definitely doing overkill for this video so that way I can show you how to do it. You don't have to do this many, but three or four full hitches is usually um, a good number to be on. This is what it looks like before I put tape on it. Now I'm gonna show you the next step, which is really important. My recommendation would be to tape the front hitch, the last one that you did, and the first hitch, the first one that you did, because that will keep everything in line. But Honestly, I tape the full thing just because you never know if one of your hitches was messed up or anything. You don't want to lose this wire in PVC and have to pull it back out. And this is how it ended up. So I hope this helped.